Hello. <laughs> I hope you like the new countdown. <laughs> Back indeed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your commentator, Doug Nimson Roman. Welcome back to the NWOW New Women of Wrestling. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear me very well, if I'm not too loud, because <laughs> I'm kind of testing something else. I'm, I switched over to the regular OBS to test something out to see how better quality it is, because I feel like the stream call quality is like kind of different <laughs> for, on the the stream labs OBS. The game is louder. The game is louder. You mean the music is louder? Let's see. It's not exactly the game, it's actually the audio from the audience. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, can you hear me okay? Because <laughs> I have to do this everything manually to set up everything on the regular OBS. And I'm also putting myself as well on my laptop. I'm being loud. <laughs> okay. Be a little too loud. Here, man. Okay, now I can hear. Okay, let me. Lord. <laughs> Crowd's being too loud. They're excited for the WOW. <laughs> okay. Also, let me give you some quick shouts here. Marty Fox, thank you for hosting. Rosa, thank you for hosting. NYG Man, thank you for hosting. <laughs> and that's about it. And I can see that Rosa has been. Finally won some pixels since the beginning of the stream. Alright, all said and done. <laughs> We're gonna... Yes. <laughs> I mean, I've done some little work around on the layouts. How's it going, G-Man? Welcome back to NWOW. I know it's pretty late, and Mighty Fox trying to go for a swim. <laughs> Why are you doing exclamation point capital letters? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Got that right. Man of Front Rogue and then Man of Free Chili Dogs. <laughs> it's swim. <laughs> Did you break the swim? Maybe because I think I put a limit to it. <laughs> Let me waste all of it. Then put try swim all. <laughs> put swim all. <laughs> Let's see. Let me try this. <laughs> oh my god, I lost so many pixels. <laughs> How many pixels do I have? Goodness gracious. <laughs> I need to do something with all those pixels. <laughs> And now, you want more pixels back. <laughs> oh no. It makes no sense for you, Molly Fox. <laughs> You're here trying to lose all your pixels while everybody here trying to win some pixels. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> As always. And matches today. It's like that golfer screen. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, let's head down to the show here. Oh, that <laughs> that's I quiet the audience. <laughs> okay. Oops, that's not supposed to happen. I hit the wrong button. Ah! Ignore that! <laughs> I forgot to press record, but that's okay. <laughs> this is the Women Revolution of Pro Wrestling. Welcome to end wow. <laughs> no, Money Fox, you heard nothing. <laughs> We're here live in Tampa Bay, Florida. 
Uh, if you heard a gong, no, nothing's gonna happen. You heard nothing. <laughs> you heard nothing. I was legally blind for my young. <laughs> that was me. I did an oopsie. <laughs> Radical Foil, how you doing? Welcome to my stream. Welcome to Neo Women of Wrestling, my all women e fed. Oops, and you're not supposed to see that either. Ah! <laughs> I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> ah, what a way to start the show. <laughs> But yes, anyway, <laughs> it's all women eat it. <laughs> I think that's everybody's line. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you already saw a little sneak peek in the background. <laughs> a little sneak peek in the background. We see. Okay, audience, you better make up your mind. Here. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was prepared for everything, but no, I messed up a few things, but that's okay. The show must go on. Nobody's perfect. As long as the show goes on. I'm such a profession. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I should have left everything on a string lap OBS. <laughs> but no, I decided to move it over to <laughs> regular OBS. Because I'm... Because I wasn't planning to do that with the regular OBS, because... <laughs> because I thought, like, the, the Streamlab OBS is, like, the quality is kind of a little off for me, and I'm trying, like... It's, like, really bugging me sometimes, so I'm trying to test this out right now to move back to the regular OBS. But so far, so good. But anyway, we got... <laughs> we got... Rhythm, who's gonna come down to the ring on a mic. Regarding the fact of what's going on for the past couple weeks. Are the audio's okay. My audio's okay, let me know if I'm too loud, too low, anything but that. But anyway, we got Rhythm, the impossible Rhythm, if I like to call her, because she has been the longest reigning Galactic Women's Champion. Not a sex. Well, actually, she is pissed. You know, it's been a rough couple of weeks. We're gunning for what's been going on for my sister, Sweet Paw. I was supposed to have a regular match against her, but she was nowhere to be seen. And now I got this clown issue. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Tetris girl? Tech? What? What is Tetris girl going. <laughs> coming down right now? I mean. Here she is, the superhero known as Tetris Girl. I guess she's a little bit excited here to come down to the ring with rhythm. What does she have to say here? Rhythm, I see what your promo is. You have some clown issues. But I'm here right now, but I would like to help you out. No, I am not Melissa. Be quiet. <laughs> I don't know who's this Melissa person. I am Tetris Girl. Oh my god, it's Tetris Girl. <laughs> what are you doing here? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you understand what's been going on. I mean... Last week, I was supposed to have a match with Sweet Paw, my sister, but this clown attacked me. And then she had offered me a match last week. Not to worry. 
I, Tech Mr. I'd like to help you with your clown situation. I have gone to the NWOW official to have a tag team match against the clowns. And I will be your tag team partner later tonight. Well then, you just made my day and I am very excited for right now. I think it's time we should take down these clowns later tonight. But even though, as long as you've been helping me, I hope you'll be able to at least the end while official can give me a match against the current Galactic Women's Champion, and that is the Money Princess, whatever she's called herself, Te Trish DiBiase. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, cutscene. <laughs> For, <laughs> but looks like <laughs> the decision has decided. <laughs> It looks like in the main event we're gonna have gotta have a tag team match. That's Rhythm and Tector's Girl who offer a tag team match against the clowns later tonight. Got that right, man in the front row. Get the man a free chili dog. <laughs> but that was rather interesting. But then, but then again, let's see, Melissa. <laughs> Did I hear a sneeze? Did she sneeze? Like, duh, I heard a sneeze. <laughs> I could be wrong, I don't know. <laughs> and once again, you're down with these slots. <laughs> no sneeze, you're hearing I thought I'm hearing things, I am not sure. Okay, anyways. <laughs> or, no, it's not a sneeze. Actually, I think I know what the problem is. I didn't do that command. I, it's actually a chew. A chew. There. Ah, bless you, Melissa. There it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Yes. <laughs> anyways, moving on to the next match. <laughs> Well, actually, the first match. <laughs> It'll be Kimberly the Red going up against Maya O'Murphy. Yeah, I don't have the automatic command, for, automatic timer for Melissa's I choose. <laughs> so we. <laughs> it's gotta have to be. <laughs> yes, and of course, Maya O'Murphy is in need of former Galactic Women's Champion. And I believe she's a she was a former breakout wrestling champion? I am not so sure. Yeah, my memory is terrible. <laughs> No, no, she's not. Okay, thank you for verifying me. Then <laughs> I had terrible memory. She almost did, but no. <laughs> no worry. That is a lot of booze. Goodness gracious. <laughs> And here we go. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Waco, Texas. She has the strength of three ordinary Texan. This is Kimberly the Red Lewis. What does that even mean with that description? The strength of three ordinary Texan. I, I'm not gonna go into that detail, but this is Kimberly the Red. Representing from the 
mobile game app, Muscle Hustle. I am not sponsored by that, but it's a fun game. There, here comes the bare knuckle lass. The former Galactic Women's Champion coming down to the ring as she had gone in a long feud. A terribly long feud. And her opponent from Longwood, Ireland. She's known as the bare knuckle lass, Maya. Oh! It should have gone longer, but I lost my breath there. <laughs> and my home Murphy, as she's represented from Breakout Wrestling, going under hiatus. Good job, thank you. <laughs> Wish I should have gone longer than that, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, Kimberly the Red ready to go. Maya Omar for ready to go. Ref for James ring the bell. As we got Kimberly the Red, one of the heavyweights here in NWOW. As we already going for luck up. I almost forgot the bettings. <laughs> and the bet test started. And what a forearm, not even knocking down, trying to knock down Kimberly, goodness. You would think that the size different between these two ladies, but Kimberly is really hard to get off on her feet. And there goes Maya O'Murphy. As Kimberly caught her in a clothesline, sending her off the ring. Off on the shoulder, coming back with a DDT. And now Maya driving the hole to a leg with the head scissors. Smashing the elbow to the head on Kimberly. And working on the leg onto the outside, but referee is starting to count here. Down to number six, and finally Maya bringing Kimberly the red back into the ring. To the oh, to the cloverleaf backbreaker onto Kimberly. Hooking the leg, going straight for the cover. One and only a one count is not enough to put away the heavyweight. As I said before, that Mayo Murphy has got a terribly long feud with a Celtic boxer known as Haley Ryan. The plus that we had an invasion in a pay-per-view that never happened. Perhaps I said too much. And a nice toss by Maya O'Murphy. Using all that strength. And now leg sweep by Kimberly. Turns her around into the Boston Crab. Not looking good here for Maya, but Maya finally managed to kick out. There's that kick by Maya. As she goes straight for the cover here. One, two, and a kick up by Kimberly. And a hard clothesline by Kimberly the Red taking out on Maya. Uh-oh. Prepare yourself. That's Kimberly the Red here. Using all that weight on Kim on Maya, I took the win out of her. But she's coming back strong as Maya O'Murphy with the arm breaker into the submission hold, locking the arm. And now Kimberly rolls out back into the ring again. 
Up on the shoulders. Slamming down with a Simone drop. And now she's taking over this match. Coming back with a clothesline. Another clothesline. Back into the corner. Oh! Let's all that weight and a crossbody. And again. Oh, and a big splash. That's Kimberly the Red right, weighing over 300 pounds here. And hits Maya with a DDT. Oh, going to pick her up with the Kimberly Slam. Cover one, two, and three. Kimberly the Red put away Maya O'Murphy. Goodness gracious. Here is your winner, Kimberly the Red Lewis. GG and D, but oh no! The former champion has been beaten by the heavyweight! And putting the beat down on Maya. And Kimberly the Red won. Well then. AG indeed. <laughs> Rosa celebrating because she won so many pixels because she bet on bet on Kimberly. somewhere else here <laughs> anyway moving on to the next match and this is gonna be interesting because we see the current tag team champion will be facing against the former tag team champions so supposedly known as the most dominant tag team we got the end wild tag team champions rootless aggression Tracy aggress and Ruth McKay Rootless, Ruth McKay. And a tag team match against the B-Club. Three times former tag team champion. As they claim to be the most dominant tag team of all the tag team division. Good luck to both teams, but this is gonna be very brutal. Or I should say, ruthless aggression. The following is a tag team at schedule for one fall. Making their way to the ring. Representing from the Multiverse Protection Agency. 
This is Officer Tracy and Officer Ruth. Ruthless aggression. Yes, they are the current NWOW Tag Team Champions that they're these two best friends has finally earned a championship title here at NWOW. Despite the fact they've been competing over other two federations. And here comes the former champions. And their opponents. From Osaka, Japan and Seminar, Canada. The team of Biako and Bidra. The B Club. The B Club. As they were three time NWOW Tag Team Champions. And they have lost their tactic titles from Ruthless, Aggress Ruthless Aggression over at Summertime Nexus. But not only that, Ruthless Aggression, they had to prepare themselves at the next pay-per-view show. And Tracy is still trying to calm Ruth down. Because you know how bad of the temper of Ruth McKay here. And already starting off with Tracy with the her Corona takedown. Already starting the bets here. As so we got Biako trying to grab a hold on Tracy. And now Tracy tried to go for the Irish Red reversal into the corner as Biako makes a tag to Bidra. Atomic drop with the big boot to the face combination by the B Club. And now Tracy tossing Bidra onto the outside as she's ready to fly here. With the tope over on Bidra. Distracted for a second, but now we cut Tracy. But she's trying to take over this match. But then again, as Bidra taking over this match. Down to number six, number seven is Rick for Jane Scout counting here. You see, they really need to get back into the ring or else they'll end this match in a draw. I stand corrected. Uh oh, <laughs> this is not looking good. Tracy, <laughs> are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Ruthless aggression. Got defeated by the B Club, and I'm pretty sure the number one contenders are the Marauders are laughing somewhere backstage. Here are your winners. Biako and Bidra, the B Club. And <laughs> such a short match. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the match in a can out. Unbelievable. Oh well then, what happened it happens. <laughs> I thought about restarting the match, but no, the show must go on. <laughs> it's not like I had much time right now. <laughs> it's late for me. 
not exactly late. It's six o'clock over here. <laughs> but that's okay. Because <laughs> I thought about streaming it on Friday, but no, I was tired. I needed like at least a day off from work. <laughs> I don't know how my next reschedule is, so be on the lookout once I go up again streaming again with the new women of wrestling. But anyways, up next. If you haven't seen Captain Val Sparrow in a while, as she makes her return going up against a Celtic boxer known as Haley Ryan. What did I say about the cannons? I thought we did something with those pirates sneaking in somewhere and going up to the rails and the ceiling somewhere with those cannons out. Enough with the cannons. <laughs> yes, cannons. And Stone <laughs> came out of nowhere. <laughs> Hi, Stone. You just come in and say, let's go swim. Oh. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making a way to the ring. From the Virgin Islands. This is Captain Pal Sparrow. And how you doing, Stone? <laughs> Coming in here. <laughs> one of... Gamble all. <laughs> oh, Vampirico! Welcome to NWO the New Women at Red State. Thank you for the follow. I was about to make a shout out to Mr. Stone here. <laughs> Mr. Stone's once is Stone Galactic Wrestling Federation E fan. <laughs> Might as well give you a shout out too. <laughs> hey man, Paragon. And also, I read somewhere on your Discord it's your birthday, isn't it? Happy 30th birthday. <laughs> He also run his e -fed. I forgot what the name is. I'm just, I am a terrible <laughs> streamer. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> N N W. There we go. Thank you. I have terrible memory. <laughs> and her opponent. From Dublin, Ireland. She's known as the Celtic Boxer, Haley Ryan. And Haley Ryan, the second generation in the Punch Out series, as her father, Aaron Ryan. Aaron, Aaron Ryan, that's a ter terrible name to pronounce. <laughs> Aaron Ryan. Her family is known by cheating and winning in their own way. But anyway, match on the way. Got the captain, Val Sparrow, and the Bucks are ready to go. Referee Chance already rang the bells. We already started with the match and the double axe handle by Haley Ryan. And the pirate coming back with a German suplex. And she got stuck there for the walking invisible treadmill there for a second. <laughs> and yes, it is Vampirico's birthday. Happy birthday to Vampirico. <laughs> and the captain coming back with a neck breaker and a kick to the back. 
And I also forgot to mention that Captain Valspera is a former Galactic Women's Champion. There's a lot of ch former champions here tonight. <laughs> and coming out with a hard clothesline, going for the cover. One and only a one count as Haley Ryan managed to kick out. And there she goes. Sparrow coming back with a back suplex. And what's gonna what she's gonna do here? And sitting right on top of Haley. And now going to pick her up into the fisherman driver by the captain. And a fog taking on on the Celtic Bucks. They're only for the cover here. One, two, kick out at two. Yeah, a lot of former champions. We got Captain Mouse Barrows, a former Galactic Women's Champion. Lost to Rhythm. Oh, look at here. Haley with a cover, but in a kick out. As I was saying, Rhythm won the Galactic Women's Champion last year at Fight Mares in Halloween Town. As she cashed in the briefcase. And the captain cheering away to the crowd, trying to get some momentum. Trying to follow Haley Ryan, but caught it in the fireman and a reversal DDT by the captain. And now the captain throwing those punches to the Celtic boxer known as Haley Ryan and a power bomb. Turns over to the Boston Crab, but does not realize he don't do submission hole on the outside. And GGGG man <laughs> for some pixels. And Haley getting the second dodge. She doesn't want to get back into the line. Get back into the race. She does not want to be part of this. What is this? Another match ending in a cat now. Haley just had enough. What the quack? <laughs> Haley refused to get back into the ring. Unbelievable. And I thought for sure this was going to be a good back and forth match between these two, but Haley, she didn't have her, maybe that's why she didn't have her Big Mac. <laughs> Here is your winner, Captain Val Sparrow. Oh, no more Big Macs for you, Haley. <laughs> GG to the captain. And that is Val Sparrow. Once again, happy birthday to Vampirico. <laughs> that was not no, I can randomly. All right. As we're getting close to halftime, got a tag team match. We'll be the team of the Dark Zodiac. Quack indeed, Scurvy Dog coming in with the quack. <laughs> I forgot to set up the sounds. <laughs> that is my fault.
I'm s <clears throat> I'll get that fixed soon. I've been tradition. I was testing out the regular OBS to see how it goes before I see how the difference between the regular OBS and <laughs> you blame Melissa. <laughs> you blame Melissa for what? <laughs> I mean, you st <laughs> it's an EFAT ran by a freaking dog. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I love that line from Sorks the Goblin. <laughs> it's an EFAT ran by a freaking duck, and that is me, Mr. Quack Word himself. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Just for that. <laughs> I'll do it for you here. <laughs> I'll do it for you. Quack. There we go. <laughs> Just to make Stone happy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, heading now to the next tag team match. And I, oh, I forgot to make the shot dice too. I want to make sure that this work. Quack equals rating, yes indeed. <laughs> Quack indeed. What? Qu Quack. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> the following is a tag team at schedule for one fall. Making their way to the ring. Representing from Mexico and the other side of darkness and now walks within the light. Description <laughs> The team of Neko Dark and Luna Loca, the Dark Zodiac. One fall, yep. <laughs> and these are representing from the CAW, run by the Elbuck Pony or True Blue, as some of us like to call him. He runs it EFED over his YouTube channel every Thursday. When you get a chance, check him out, and I think he's preparing himself for the next pay per view show as well. It's Thunder from Down Under. There we go. <laughs> the Talking Blue Horse, yes. <laughs> And their opponent, the team of Nadia Fox and Stacy Knowles. This is Sly and Sly. And it looks like Sly and Sly have a bit of a gear change. And they're coming from the breakout wrestling. And due to going under hiatus, they give us permission to bring along some of their wrestlers to compete here on NWOW. And not only that, I would like to make an announcement right now. Since we got some wrestlers coming from other EFETs and coming from other owners from different streams as well. We're going to have the inaugural NWOW Internet Champion. And they'll be only be competing for, uh, for you guys. If you have a call here. And that includes the calls from other events that coming from CAW, the YWL. Breakout Wrestling. And also including Queen Andrea Rivera and... And the Marauders. You never know. So at Fightmares in Halloween Town, we'll have another inaugural internet champion. And oh, not your Fox! And what a matching gear between Sly and Sly. We got Nadia Fox in the red, Stacy Knowles in the yellow. Oh! 
Battle that's handled to the arm and Neko Dark with a clothesline. Tossing over on Stacy Knowles. And G-Man's on fire. <laughs> Well, speaking of which of the internet champion, that means that Queen Andrea might pull a double duty at the pay-per-view show. <laughs> I'll explain that later on tonight, and I also forgot to do something else. I forgot to open that, so great. <laughs> open the bets, and I also forgot the note that I forgot to... <laughs> What was that I say? I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> and I forgot to put the results in the bottom of the screen. <laughs> okay, now we're all cut up. <laughs> Anyways, back into the match. We got Stacy Knowles working on Neko Dark. Representing the Dark Zodiac. I, oops, I forgot the extra zero. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> pixels are pixels. And a kick to the bat by Neko Dark. And bringing back down to the map by Neko Dark using the cat reflexes. She's grabbing a hold on Nadia, not Nadia Fox, Stacy Knowles, bringing down with a Meteora. And bringing back to the corner, Nick Goldard. Now going for a stomping party. Tagging in on Luna Loca. Stomping away on Stacy Knowles. Back at it again, stomping away. Most of you are winning pixels and losing pixels. Woo, I forgot to put that aisle. <laughs> I need to put that later. <laughs> Cover. Stacy, no, break out the bed and there goes. Oh, referee James. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. Another ref bites to dust. <laughs> That's okay. We still got referee James' brother. His father, Refer James, his cousin, Refer James, and his twin brother's cousin, Refer James. <laughs> and Stacy Knowles working on Luna Loco. Hits it with the uppercut. Turning it back around. Blocks the drop kick. And a knee strike. Straight to Luna Loco. Stomping the arm. It's now she's trying to pick up on Luna Loca. Ducks under the clothesline. Grabbing the hole in the arm. And toss her over. Still not letting go of the arm. Excuse me. I'll be constantly burping down the street. And that is so rude of me. <laughs> I had a big lunch. Now Neko, Neko Dark tagging in. What the heck she trying to do there? As Stacy knows. No, not Stacy knows. Nadia Fox. See, I get confusing. <laughs> and Nadia Fox setting up here. Through the ropes into a tornado DDT. Now bringing back into the ring. Turns her around. Shoulders down, cover one, two, and a kick out by Neko Dark. What is this? Bring more off into the crossbody. Locking the legs, but Luna breaks up the pin. And where's Stacy No here? Any second dots, I believe? Probably so.
Look at all those pixels. <laughs> Mega Dark. Oh, Luna Loca. And a nice tag team combination. And a DDT with the leg there. Now bring him back into the corner once again. Makes a tag to Neko Dark. Or maybe not. Uh-oh. She actually set Nadia Fox upside down. Your number one pick. At Pixels? Really? I don't know. <laughs> I need to check on this. The leaderboard. Oh, and a drop kick. Coast to coast. Luna Loca with the body hop to the corner to corner. Bring it to the center of the ring. Cover one. Oh, break up by Stacy Knowles. And what the quack? Why would you do that to Referee James? <laughs> That's referee abuse. Stacy, no, just kicked the crack out of Referee James. Look at that. Double moonsault by Nadia, Nadia Fox. <laughs> crazy ref. <laughs> no. <laughs> Referee's not crazy. <laughs> For Jay standing out, don't worry, he's fine. As we got Stacy Knowles hooking the leg here, cover one, two, and oh, it's so close. We see Nadia Fox trying to take out Nico Dark, but still Luna Loca trying to hang on. Here we go, head scissors into the arm wrench. Tap snap or and Stacy Knowles hanging on in the submission hold here. But finally lets her go. Luna Loca firing up. School girl into the power bomb. This referee received mucho golpes. <laughs> In the translation from Rosa, all referee receives so much beating that these women are crazy. Yes, <laughs> these, all these women are indeed crazy. <laughs> Bien locas, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and a neck breaker by Stacy Knowles. Kick to the gut, going to pick her up. Sunset flip by Luna Loca. One, two, and a kick out. So close. Oh, and a fake out clothesline by Nadia, not Nadia Fox, see, Stacy knows. You two are very sly with your names. <laughs> Luna Locust trying to stomp away on Stacy Knowles. Again with the neck breaker. Oh, what is this? Using the leverage on the ropes. And that's not going to be an easy win for Sly and Sly. You're number one in pixels. How are you guys number one in pixels? I don't understand. <laughs> Which leaderboard are you guys looking at? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> Whoops. Need to double check on the leaderboard. I don't have the leaderboard up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now watch me go to last place. Oh no. Stone, don't do it. And there you go. The it's okay, you don't actually put all the pixels in. You only put the maximum is 10,000. Neko Dark with a Centon Nadia Fox. Oh, no good. <laughs> 
Well, since you guys are all having fun with your pixels, I'm gonna pull a stone right now. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I won so many pixels, yay! <laughs> this is not rigged. <laughs> the system's not rigged here to make you feel better. I'll play some slots. <laughs> I, I thought I broke the slots. <laughs> how do I type? I don't know how to type. <laughs> there. See, it's not rigged. <laughs> See, now Stone wants some pixels. <laughs> not rigged. <laughs> it is not rigged. <laughs> Got a cover by Stacy No, it's not. I mean, Stacy No, it's not your fox. God damn it, Melissa, don't use that chili dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I got Deco Dark. Bring him back on Nadia Fox, makes a tag. Splash by Neko Dark, followed by a side effect. And a cover. Three, the Dark Zodiac has defeated Sly and Sly. Looks like Stacy knows hard green over there. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, this is indeed a really good back and forth match. <laughs> Looks like their attire did not give them any luck at all, but you know what? The Dark Zodiac won the match, pick it up a victory. Neko Dark and Luna Loca, the Dark Zodiac. Congratulations to the Dark Zodiac. All right. Oops, I forgot to close the system here. And now moving on to the next match. We're still <laughs> not even done yet. Now, I received a word that next match will be Scarlet going up against I had no idea who it is. They did not give me any full detail of what's going on. Whoops, I did not. I put the wrong screen here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing a wonderful Saturday today. I am doing this pretty well. It's been hot, but right now it's starting to cool down. <clears throat> what do you mean, who the quack is running the show? I. <laughs> who the quack is running the show? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just the duck, duck doing the commentator. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> and now to the ring, anyways. You gotta remember, I'm the duck with the effect. <laughs> Wait, did that, that make me the boss around thing? I had no idea. <laughs> oh, 
excuse me. Everything is dark, yes. The reason why is because of the Gothic Striker, known as Scarlet. Lots of moves, yes, those ducks do the darnest things, yes, we do, quack. <laughs> the following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, she has the current breakout wrestling misfit champion. From Yamaguchi, Japan, she is known as the Gothic Striker, Scarlet. Now she has no clue who she's going up against. Because if you may remember last week, it's also posted on my YouTube channel or in the bots. She got a calling card by a certain Grim Reaper. And that is Eliza the Grim Reaper. She has been messing around with Scarlet last week. But not even a face has gone to Scarlet. For the fact that she will be facing Eliza the Grim Reaper over at Fightmares in Halloween Town. Hang on a second, that's her. What in the... Okay! Even the ring announcer is even traumatized by this. What mind games is going on here? We just saw Scarlet in the ring already- Oh, this looks like- Oh. If I take a good look at- Oh, that is a zombie! That is a zombie. Looks exactly like Scarlet. What mind games is going on with Eliza? Well, this. Oh, oh gosh. That is indeed a dead corpse walking down to the ramp. Oh. Careful, cameraman. Cameraman, careful. Don't let it bite you or anything. What? I have no words for this. Looks... Uh, okay. And while you come for the match, you stay for the best freaking admission. If it's... <laughs> you say, yes, <laughs> after this it's the intermission as well. <laughs> I better swim the heck out of here. I don't know. This is literally a dead course, a zombie of Scarlet sending a message. I mean, I guess this is an official match. We got Scarlet not even faced about this at all, but this is gonna be, it's just gonna be hard to commentate, you know? And now, oh, now we got the zombie with the suplex. I don't know what's going on in the mind with Scarlet after she sees herself as a dead corpse not coming back with a DDT. Set the bets. I mean, I'm a bit of a face here. <laughs> I don't know who to bet on this, you know. And it hits it with the suplex by Scarlet here. And stopping the way to the arm on the zombie. Oh, has so many pixels. <laughs> and now here's a cover here already, and a kick up by the zombie. Uh oh, did I not put the bets on? Did I broke the bets? Oh, I did not open the bets. <laughs> okay, try it one more time. <laughs> Don't know what happened there.
It should be working now. <laughs> okay. Okay, now it works. Oh, what is this? The zombie grab a candlestick. <laughs> I got distracted her for a second here. Now Scarlet tried to take over this mad by the zombie with a German suplex. No, no, no. Why are you saying no, no, no? <laughs> And Scarlet going to pick up a zombie and a back suplex. Now, then again, Scarlet just stomping away onto the zombie here into the submission hole. I don't know if the zombie can even feel any pain at the moment. Sing by Scarlet. Double stomp to the gut. And now the zombie with a dragon screw. Going after Scarlet here. Try to push out of the way. Oh, here we go. The Gothic Strider using those strikes. Take it out on the zombie. One, two. And three, Scarlet defeated the zombie. Rolls out of the way. <laughs> no, come on. So much for that. Oh, okay, there it goes. <laughs> I'll be off character at the moment. It's not supposed to. <laughs> well, that was fast, yes. <laughs> Quag! Hey, Jack. How you doing? Well, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Supposedly the cutscene that was not supposed to have is supposed to happen this, so prepare yourself. <laughs> that looks like the zombie just disappeared out of nowhere. It looks like started going back into the ring, just sitting pose, okay. for Eliza and Scarlet. She just disappeared out of nowhere. Well then. Yes, that... <laughs> Oops. See, I am already, like, <laughs> traumatized after that. <laughs> and I want to pick the... Okay, I feel better now. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It's now the half time. <laughs> Since you're now, you're all here.
Give me one second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was just really interesting to see. We got a Lights of the Grim Reaper that has been sending some mind games to Scarlet. And from the looks of it, I think Scarlet is going to have to face Elisa the Grim Reaper at the next paper show. Fight Maris in Halloween Town. What? I'm getting a word or something going on backstage. What? Well, get the cameraman back there. I need to know what's going on. Like, oh, okay, I'm getting the view here. Well, looks like. What is going on? Oh, that's Tetris girl! Looks like she got stomped by Decay the Clown. What is going on? Oh! Decay the Clown just got out of nowhere now attacking Tetris girl. Oh! Supposedly Tetris girl is supposed to be in a tag team match, tagging along with Rhythm. What is going on with the clowns harassing Tony Stars here? It looks like Tetris Girl are trying to gain control, but Decay going for that suplex. Oh! It looks like Decay the clown. Oh, tossing Tetris Girl to those boxes there. With no security inside, what is going on? Tactics go trying to go for the close line, taking out on DK the Clown. Ah. <laughs> Stone still thinks number one. <laughs> and then you, I don't have it. <laughs> There's so many things I need to fix. And DK the Clown would put an insult to injury. No! Oh, slamming down. I don't have any leaderboards at the moment. <laughs> I thought I had it up, but what is this? Oh! DK just toss herself on Tetris Girl. And now she's just stomping away. This crazy clown. No, oh, right on the hard concrete. Is security where you need it. DK calling her to get up. No! What are you trying to do? You're hurting yourself. I think Tactress Girl needs to get a look at herself. He's just staggering around. I mean, do something, Tetris Girl. You say yourself you're gonna help out Rhythm. Snap out it. Eat some chili dogs. Oh! Uh, hang on, up on the shoulders, DK. Oh! Right on the box! And now this time is Tetris Girl gonna fly it. Oh! Still, just winning some pixels over here. <laughs> and there's a knee by Tetris Girl. And still, these two ladies are still fighting backstage. But there's no security around. Where is security? Ah! No! And now, with a head to the takedown by Decay, once again to the top of the box. And Tuck Stones, thank you for the host. <laughs> I think we're gonna need some help back here. Uh, looks like Tactics Girl might be out. I mean, I don't know if she's gonna be able to compete later tonight. 
happening. Well then. Well, right now, now we're gonna go down to intermission. <laughs> Did as soon as I could. Oh yeah, <laughs> no worries. I appreciate it. All the appreciation for everybody else. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. What a setup to the next matches. What we're gonna do here, once I turn the emotes only, spam all your emotes. Because I know a certain queen of emotes is in the chat somewhere. I want to spread all the emotes. <laughs> a very cowardly, I'll set that in. Don't risk everything. <laughs> All right. Let me lower this music for a second. Are you ready for halftime? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> so many emotes. <laughs> Ooh, at least he had fun, yes. <laughs> Goodness gracious, how many GG emotes he have? <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> you think Rosa won? Yeah, I think that's another. Oh my god, I'm looking at that over here. So many emotes on my second screen here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> move on to the next match. It looks like this dispute is not over as we already got Queen Andrea Rivera asking for a championship title match against Jellico over at Fight Nurse and Halloween Town pay per view show. And this is really gonna be interesting because they're still trying to test each other out. Yes, it's your time, Rosa. <laughs> it's your time. It's time. It's time. I made her time. <laughs> it's Rosa time. Here we go. And then feast your eyes on the current Interstar Hybrid Champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Make it away to the ring, accompanied by Penny. Of course, Penny has to come along. <laughs> From Manchester, England. 
she is. Known as the bare knuckle brawler, the most dangerous woman in the UK. She is the NWOW Interstar Hybrid Champion, Jellica. No sad face. <laughs> And yes, last week, Jellica is like distracting Queen Andrea. But not to worry, this is a non-title match, but over at the pay-per-view show, there will be a title match. For Queen Andrea's first title match. And her opponent. From San Jose, Costa Rica. Wait, no, that's wrong. Do over. <laughs> From San Juan, Puerto Rico. There we go. This is Queen Andrea Rivera. Way to go. Way to go. I was thinking. <laughs> that was my mistake. <laughs> okay. This is what happened when you don't have notes on your screen. <laughs> Get my nations right. <laughs> Whatever, perfect James, ring the bell. Bets are starting. Thank you. <laughs> I am a professional streamer who knows all the countries in the world. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's the already start of course and betting high on Queen Andrea Rivera. Already with the dragon screw. To the most dangerous woman in the UK, Jellica. <laughs> that's, that's gonna bug me now. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Uppercut by Jellica. And drawing those elbow strike to Queen Andrea. Oh, and an insiguri to the back of Queen Andrea. <laughs> I can't even commentate anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I hope nobody clips that. I mean, that's a little boo boo. <laughs> Gotta go for the cover. Right for games. Why are you walking on an invisible treadmill? See? <laughs> what is going on today? You know what? You know who I blink for. <laughs> Yes, you. You, Melissa. <laughs> We're all having fun. We're all having fun. Queen Andrea tossing Jugga over. 2K, Botchmania. There we go. That's going to be a thing. Oh, gosh. No. Please, no. <laughs> Referee Jane needs some exercise. Yes. Oh, every referee needs a cardio. And now Queen Andrea tried to push off Angelica. That will strike to the leg. Throwing their right hand, Angelica. And Queen Andrea coming back into the ring. Up on the shoulders. Uh oh, Wasteland by Angelica. One, two, and a kick out. Angelica with a little anger going on. Bring him back to the ropes. And oh, using the ropes as an advantage. Just a little, just a little. <laughs> now bring him back into the rope once again. And tossing Queen of Earth and still hanging on to the ring apron. Oh, what is this? Jellica. Hooking the arm, looks like she's gonna bring Queen Andrea the hard way with the massive suplex off the apron. Cover one, two, and a kick out by Queen Andrea.
Now bring him back to the corner. Counter by Queen Andrea. What is this? Head scissor into the submission hold. We've never seen Queen Andrea do this. No. Not going to be tapping day today. No, and a boot to the face by Jellica. Queen Andrea going up high. Going to fly. Oh, my goodness. That hurt my knees by looking at it. A lot of motion going on here. Oh, float over from behind. Jellica grabbing the arms with a suplex. Setting up. Jellica with the battering elbow. Hooking the leg cover. One, two, and three. Prepare yourself for some angry Rosa. <laughs> Here is your winner, Jellica. A little bit of disappointment, but looks like Queen Andrea wants to give us a good sportman shit here. Oh, come on. And she's telling her to go to the bag that I'm better than you. There's a reason why I don't like the money incorporated. Because they're all so arrogant. So snobbish. Such disrespect. Goodness. And don't worry. Queen Andrea will, might have a chance for that title. <laughs> no, you friend. <laughs> Money, wait, what is this? <laughs> money is bad. Yes, money is bad. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to, to the next match. <laughs> See, this is where I got confused. <laughs> This is a woman who comes from Costa Rica. <laughs> you see the meaning why I got messed up on the introduction? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm still a little upset about that. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I'll make sure I'll say this right here. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. From San Jose, Costa Rica. I think it's ha No, wait. From Costa Rica. This is the Costa Rican queen, Maria Fernando. <laughs> Go to Costa Rica. I forgot cities. <laughs> no, it's not San Jose, it's San Juan, Costa Rica. I am terrible with my nationalities. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, she is from Costa Rica, but I said the wrong city. <laughs> it's San Jose. San see, see, I'm doing it again. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and her opponent. From Hong Kong, China. She is known as the Panda Crusader. Su Lin Chang. <laughs> Scurvy dog, don't do this to me. <laughs> At least I got this one right this for once. <laughs> this is Su Lin Chang. Who's known as four different types of martial arts. And Stone's over there eating popcorn. <laughs> Did you say Senior Chang? No, not Senior Chang. Su Ling Chang. Su Lin. Not Senior. 
And just for that, we already got Zhu Lin with taking out on Maria. Oh, that's a massive slap. And already putting their herd on the Costa Rican Queen. You know, I forgot to do many things here. <laughs> Bets are open now. And I forgot to make a shout out as well. Maria Fernando. It's on by Texan Gamer 13 at his YouTube channel. He also run his eFed called the YWL. I like to bet on Senor Chang. <laughs> Senor Chang. I don't know who's Senor Chang. <laughs> Or me, of course, got a bet on Maria. But Maria Fernando is a current champion over at the YWL. And Sue Lynn, the panda, putting the hurt on Maria. Oh! With the Yoko Saka cutter to the outside. Get back into the ring. Oh, goodness gracious. Are we going to have another count out today? What in the world? <laughs> the match has ended. In the no, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. As I'm hearing from the NWL official, they demand to restart this match. <laughs> And the bets are the same. We're restarting the, the match. <laughs> After all this shenanigans that's happened today. <laughs> all the shenanigans. <laughs> and Maria with a drop kick. A bit of upset for what just happened just a second ago. That the NYL official decided to restart the match. Has to be one winner. And the Panda putting the hurt on Maria Fernando. She's dragging away from the ropes. Turning her around to the cover. But only a kick out. Not even a one count. And now the Panda going to the submission hold here. And countered by Maria with a leg sweep. Oh! Almost got caught in a slap there. And now Maria bringing the Panda back into the corner. Going to the middle rope, into the moonsault. And Rosa not happy right now. <laughs> not happy that Queen Andrea lost the match and still not winning no pixels. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Back again with a drop kick. And now, clubbing away to the Pan the Crusader. Toss him over to the outside. Full Nelson slam by Maria. <laughs> this is not your knife that we're saying. <laughs> this has been a really interesting night, to be honest. <laughs> and, oh, wow, I want some pixels. Okay. <laughs> oh, Yoko Saka Cutter again with the Panda Crusader. Su Ling Chang. Kick to the midsection as Maria. Oh! Chop to the head is bringing down to the mat. And now going up high, turn herself around into the beautiful moonsault. Hooking the leg cover one, two, and a kick out at two as Maria thought she might have end the match. 
leg sweep by the panda. And now she's just stomping away. Oh, and a knee to the head. And now going for the cover here. One kick up by Maria. And anybody just shits. Why? Because you got to give to the neck breaker. And a jawbreaker as Maria trying to come back. Irish whip to the corner. Hits it with a monkey flip. Look at this. Springboard with the crossbody. And going straight for the cover here once again. One, two, and three. Maria Fernando has defeated the Panda Crusader. GG. Here is your winner, Maria Fernando. Yeah, even though after the match restarted, but Su Lin has given sportsmanship to Maria Fernando. Unbelievable. GG indeed. Yeah, tonight, I'm surprised the night has been ending really quick. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Usually it does take me about two hours, but it's okay. Alright, since this show is held thing in Tampa Bay, Florida. Got a match between Larissa Koslov. 101 against Idira Langston in her hometown in Tampa Bay, Florida. And will Idira Langston be able to defeat in her hometown against the Russian? We're yet to find out right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And I won't get this right this time. <laughs> Make your way to the ring. From Moscow, Russia. Now residing in Stillwater. This is Larissa Koslov. Damn mouse. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> At least you know why you say damn mouth because yes. <laughs> I'll give you the reason why because this certain duck right here. <laughs> it's the best duck. <laughs> Comrade Koslov, yes. <laughs> and her opponent from Tampa Bay, Florida. She is a former ladies football player. This is Idira Langston. Idira Langston, she's carrying number 42. And some say she is the best football player in the ladies league. Now she's coming down here to compete in the ring. But one thing for sure, she has to be careful because Larissa Koslov has the hardest headbutt. All 
All right, both ladies ready to go. Refer James, ring the bell. And already head on, Kosla with a shoulder tackle. And I don't know who to bet for. Because, of course, you know me. I like Russian women. <laughs> Heart, no, not hardest butt. <laughs> headbutt. <laughs> hardest headbutt. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know. Get your butt out of the gutter, G Man. <laughs> oh, look at this. Costa with that her Corona. I heard hardest butt. <laughs> that damn is stone. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one who's not... <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and a DDT. <laughs> Might as well switch her finishing move to the hardest butt. Oh, there's a battering headbutt. <laughs> God damn it, now you gotta get stuck in my head now. <laughs> now Kostlov. Gotta go for the cover right away. And Langston. Kicks out as the match continues. And stopping away to the knee. And what is she doing? Just taunting the. It's no time to taunt, Larissa. And grabbing the hold on Langston into the belly to belly. He's hit <laughs> Head butt. <laughs> Head butt. Right there, head butt. <laughs> Bring to the ring. See, now I can't come. <laughs> hardest head. Is that better? She has the hardest head. <laughs> I think his mice in the. My mice not in the gutter. <laughs> Quack. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Quacking Christmas. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, got Kostlov setting up. Working on the arm. Kicked in the midsection. And again with a belly to belly. <laughs> Good thing, <you> guys. <laughs> oh boy, this is a good night. This is a good night. <laughs> Now here we go, we got Larissa Koslovs striking away to Idira Langston. <laughs> Leg sweep by Idira. Followed by the arm drag. <laughs> Onto the ropes. Need to breathe. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. <laughs> This is why you're good people. <laughs> you're always <laughs> nothing. I am good people. <laughs> I'm a good duck. <laughs> Don't praise me. I'm not that good. Whatever. <laughs> Close line to the corner. And now Coswell for the cover. One, two. Kicks out at two. <laughs> it's a good duck. <laughs> Thank you, Stone. <laughs> And locking the legs to Idira, but Idira counter it, trying to make an escape for it. Up on his shoulders, rolling. Senton goes for the cover. One, two, kicks out at two. No, oh, a spin out clothesline. Looking to lay one, two, and Koslov not giving up. And oh my, Idira Langston already setting up up on his shoulders with the big ending. Shoulders down, one, two, and a kick out.
Thank you for redeeming the hydrate, G-Man. Good thing I got water bottles nearby. Our water is icy. And a close line by Koslov. <clears throat> Goes for the cover. One, two, kick out at two. I can speak better. <laughs> Oh, and there's a slap. I actually had green tea. It's pretty good. And pulls away from the corner as Idira. Uh oh, what's she gonna do here? Turns and around to the Boston Crab. And Rosa over here not liking the swim. <laughs> oh, cost love hanging on. Let's her go. Oh, try to go for a leg there, but Kozlov pushing her back. No, oh, and a backbreaker. Oh, there's a roller into the small package. One, two, and a kick out. And here it comes with the combo with those clothesline. Koslov coming back with a power slam. Oh, oh try to go for the head. And there's a battering head. Don't ask me. <laughs> and an elbow strike to the head. Another strike. Uh oh, Koslov. What you gotta do? Oh! Suicide dive. Crashing on Idira. And I will say this is one of the best match we got so far. Once again, bring him back into the ring. Up to the top rope. Empty pool. Did you break the swim? <laughs> and he dare I try to go for a, a move there, but Larissa reverse it. Off to the ropes. Oh, blocks by the elbow. And there's the belly to belly. These two ladies have been going at it back and forth. Cover one, two, but only so close. You can already tell the exhaustion, the frustration from Idira. And the Russian with a belly to belly once again. And now a belly to belly. It's a belly to belly party. Cover here, one, two. We broke the dummy board, I think we're good now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there's enough, there's, <laughs> you all been swimming with no lifeguard at all either. How do I check my duck food balance around here? No, not that, pixels. Pixels. <laughs> duck food balance, <laughs> what? <laughs> No, not that one, not that feet. <laughs> pixels, yeah, that's it, yeah, it's pixels. Because you know me, I'm, I like pixelated art. Oh, cover from Kozla. And turns it around to the Boston Grab. Oh, no! Not in the whole town of Idira Langston. The Russian has defeated Idira Langston. I know, that's a tap. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You know what happens when somebody taps? No taps for Rosa. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> yes, it's a tap. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, it was a tap. <laughs> 
Happy Tapping Day. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's your winner. Larissa Koslov. Now we root against Russian over here. <laughs> Wait, what? How can you root against the Russians over here? <laughs> I think I need a scorecard to keep my gummy straight. <laughs> Hey, at least a Russian has def has won a match here. There's no funny. I am sorry, Rosa. <laughs> Hold up, she's not wearing red. How's she Russian? She is Russian. <clears throat> oh, she's a rebel, actually. <laughs> she's a member of the Saints Row. That's why she. <laughs> That's why she's wearing blue or purple, whatever the color she wears. <laughs> hmm. But, but don't worry, I think they might. A little spoiler alert, I rebelling against the Mother Russia? Mm, I didn't say that. <laughs> and oh, come on. And oops. Oh, oh. Oh well. <laughs> it was supposed to be a surprise, but I guess you already know who it is this match. <laughs> I was supposed to say, we got a debut match of Danny Weaver. <laughs> now the surprise is spoiled. But yes, we finally <laughs> the both see now y'all distracting me. <laughs> Rebelling against Mother Russia, how dare she? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you, don't ask me. <laughs> but anyways, yes. <laughs> it was supposed to be a secret opponent. And I messed it up. Oh well. Show must go on. Supposedly the star line go is that Tristan Biase has decided to open challenge I decided an open challenge to whoever comes down to the ring against the against Trish Dubiase. But of course, who made the call? Who made a debut over NWOW Extra? And now here making her main roster debut. And that is Daddy Weaver. Yep. <laughs> uh, here comes Trish DiBiase. The following. <laughs> I wonder who's going to answer the chat. Yes! We don't know for sure. Whatever. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making a way to the ring. Residing in Tampa Bay, Florida. <laughs> Residing in Tampa Bay, Florida. She is the NWOW Galactic Women's Champion, the Million Dollar Princess, Trish Debiase. I know me, I don't need to understand Daz to laugh. His laugh is contagious. <laughs> My laugh is contagious. Yes, it is. <laughs> Gorsh. <laughs> oh, it's a raid! Sean2015, how you doing, Sean? Thank you for the raid. How's your stream? I hope it went well. Tells, yep, this <laughs> and this is the part where I'm supposed to say, Oh my god, we got a main roster debut, and that is Danny Weaver. <laughs> but obviously, that did not happen, but that's okay. <laughs> and her opponent from Long Island, New York, she is known as the prototype Danny Weaver. I know, right? Danny Weaver 
has ma made her NWOW debut over at NWOW Extra, and now she's here in the main roster. <laughs> it was okay. Oh. Yeah, we had no idea that Danny Weaver is going to come down to challenge the Galactic Women's Champion known as Trish DiBiase. <laughs> Alright. As much back as I cannot be contingent a single event. <laughs> no, don't show yourself out. <laughs> I don't know how to type. <laughs> Hold on. I hope I can remember. <laughs> yeah, I can't type. <laughs> oh my goodness. See if I can remember. Uh, uh, no, that's not it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's the right one. <laughs> uh, Alright. Danny Weaver. I forgot to close the bed, so caution. Uh, uh, did not put that bed for that one. Oh, no. Okay, we're, gonna, we're just going to skip it <laughs> on the bed for now. Let's just do... After all that shit, I'm gonna just, just, just do this way like this in a long time. <laughs> Still the heist. Well, we got the match going on. We got the main roster debut of Danny Weaver. Take it on against Trish DiBiase. The million dollar princess. And look at that. She's just mocking away to Danny Weaver. Back elbow to the Inseguri. What is going on? Oh my goodness! That's the NWO N NY official Kim Possible. What is she doing out here? Looks like she's going to distract to Trish DiBiase. What is going on? It looks like she's going to be at ringside watching this match. We haven't seen Kim Possible in a long time. It's been months already. And Danny Weaver. Putting the hurt on Trish Gibiase. It looks like it's not looking good here for the Million Dollar Princess. <laughs> seen this before. Hits it with the weave of death. One. Two kick out. As I was saying, Danny Weaver is coming from the DKW owned by Phantom Dragon 13. Last playing Dungeons and Dragons, he's also run his e fag called a DKW. I forgot the full name. <laughs> what happened? Well, you don't write those down. <laughs> and now Trish to the top rope. Going for the million dollar fist drop. One, two. But Danny Weaver kicks out. Still in the match. And once again, Tracy Biasse to the top, calling Danny Weaver to get up. Oh! Try to go for the crossbody and oh! Caught in midair, Danny Weaver making it quite impressive here. And Trisha had enough. And Danny with the right hand. And now Trey is trying to lock on the arm in the submission hold. And managed to break out of that hold. Bring him back to the corner. And I still don't understand why Kim Pong was still out here. Uh-oh. Trish to be out there. to go for the Dream Street. I'm just rambling over here. And Danny break out of that hole. And oh, right to the eyes. What the heck? Was she trying to do a drop kick there? I had no idea. Danny Weaver. Up on the shoulders. Oh! The 
elbow knees to the gut. And a running drop kick to the head. One, two. And that was so close that Danny Weaver, but she's making her main roster debut. And head scissors, DDT, bringing down to the mat. And Trish DiBiase is setting up, going for the Dream Street. Hits it. Cover. One, two, and three. Another victim of Trish DiBiase defeated, of course. As she says herself, she is the Galactic Women's Champion. And that is the Million Dollar Princess, who managed to put away the newcomer, Danny Weaver. No, don't say GG. <laughs> You don't know how much I hate Trish DiBiase. <laughs> She'll buy all your GGs, buy all your homes, your house, your cars, and everything. Here is your winner, the Million Dollar Princess, Trish DiBiase. Oh no, please don't do this. Not another victim of Trish. Oh, jobber mesh around here. Get thrown straight into the big ducks. Oh, no. Angie's stuffing the money to Danny Weaver. Oh, gosh. In the words of Trish DiBiase, everybody has a price for the million dollar princess. Oh, the heist ended. I made it. Rosa made it. G Man made it. We all get points. GG. She even made an extra hundred dollar for a debut. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, she just stuffed the money to it straight to the, her mouth. I can't words, adjectives, how to speak. Damn <laughs> it, got Sure, she lost, but she picked up an extra hundred dollars. <laughs> I guess you can say that. Yeah, like here, have a hundred dollars. Thank you for your match. Stuff it in her mouth. <laughs> well, let's just hope that's a fresh, crisp hundred dollar bill. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, but it was pixels, not <laughs> real catch. <laughs> she stuffed them. She stuffed them with pixels. Here, have some pixels. You know, that's going to be painful to stuff in the mouth. Because <laughs> they're all a bunch of squares. I just make a pun. I don't know. <laughs> That Dibiase is real heel. Yes, she's, she's a real heel. Pixels are real. <laughs> Again, with the hardest. <laughs> God, God damn it, G Man. <laughs> yes, I can hear G Man laughing away behind the screen.
You know, I go to play with slots for a second. <laughs> okay, finally, the game is loading. Jesus Christ. Jeebus quack. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event. Coming down to your main event. As we heard earlier, that Rhythm is supposed to have a tag team match to take on the clowns. And she was supposed to team up with Tetris Girl. But apparently, she got attacked backstage Both would be last thing like to me <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness sorts the goblin <laughs> Thank you for the hundred biddies <laughs> Also why that thing didn't change second <laughs> How are you doing, Sorts? <laughs> right, we're about to do introduction. <laughs> the following is a tag team at schedule for one fall. Introducing first, making the way to the ring. Accompanied by Amy Kang. The team of Lita O'Brien and Lila Lakura. This is Insane Cirque. And again, Swords the Goblin. <laughs> I think someone will tap in this match. You think you will tap someone in this match? <laughs> no! I think we had enough tapping today. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, I'll give you a shout out to Swords the Goblin. Another awesome streamer. <laughs> Runs his e -fed. Main event wrestling. That's a scare. It wasn't a scare, it was like a shock. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. But I should come to MEW tech teach the girls how to not to tap. Oh no. <laughs> That's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> but anyway, you're just in time to the main events, and also I don't know why this does not change. And here it comes. No, that's not how you're supposed to do. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to change something here. There we go, but that is not gonna fit. <laughs> okay, let me do the introduction before it's over. <laughs> and their opponent, introducing first, from the music city of West Manhattan Equestria. This is Rhythm. There we go, okay, I fixed it. <laughs> And this is Rhythm. She is a former NWOW Galactic Women's Champion. And she's a bit of a concern of what's been going on with her sister, Sweet Paul. And I still don't understand why it's dinner. Quackler. No, take the shirt. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> My brain fried for a second. <laughs> dinner. Quackler time. Okay. Eat your dinner. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Anyways, I was supposed to make the introduction here, and what is going on? Eating with chopstick tonight. Couldn't have gone for far. Oh, okay. And look at this. Looks like we got a helping hand. I can't use those damn. You don't know how to eat chops with chopsticks? Hmm. I'm surprised. You'd be surprised that I'm the only Mexican guy who knows how to use chopsticks in the family. <laughs> and of course, this makes a lot of sense. Cassidy James decided to help out Rhythm. And her partner, accompanied by Kitty Robin from Austin, Texas. 
She is known as the Outlaw Werewolf. Cassidy James. And here comes Cassidy James as she is the member of the Wolf Pack. The Outlaw Werewolf. can't either I tried to do it's a no-go oh no I guess chopstick is preferable to some people but it's okay you can eat it with a fork that's fine spoon or fork yep yeah, so good and here's your main man we got the clowns taken up against rhythm and Cassidy James who came to for an for to help can't can't speak <laughs> This is a main event. How oh, do <laughs> And I opened the bits. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> bits are open. <laughs> Bet too high. Oh, Roman and Cassidy to hell <laughs> with them clowns. Yes. Screw the clowns. Sure you're not a fan of the clowns. <laughs> now he's tough tied. <laughs> yes, I'm tongue tied now. How do you how do you tongue tie? I'm a duck. <laughs> and we got Cassidy Kane beat down on the Lita O'Brien. <laughs> Poor me, yes. I'm I mean, let's be glad this is the main event so I can rest after this. <laughs> Oh, Bo Nelson face buster by Lita O'Brien. Going for the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. And Lita bringing back around, back into the corner. We got a tag team maneuver between the clowns. That's Layla Lacura. And she's no. Oh, and Cassidy James with that head. Yeah, bring it to the center of the ring. <laughs> Makes a tag to rhythm. And she has been the former Galactic Women's Champion, as I like to call her the Impossible Rhythm. And why? Because she beat her opponent in 20 seconds. She entered herself in the Wonderland Cash Royale. And on the same night, cashed it in to become the Galactic Women's Champion. And she has been the longest reigning champion as well. Let's just hope that Trish Dibiase doesn't beat that record. And Leila Lacura, just as she's known as the hardcore clown of Mexico. Mexico. Fire shrimp to the corner, elbow strike to the head. And again, back elbow, that's Layla. Coming back with that Larian. And coming back with a neck crank. And Layla with a head sensor is bringing down on rhythm. And already setting up Layla. Back into the corner, calling it running knee. What the? Hang on a second. No. How is this legal? Referee James. How you're allowing this? Rilla with a triple power bomb. And, uh, okay, referee James. <laughs> oh. 100% legal? How is that 100% legal? And a springboard crossbody straight to rhythm. And Jimin's like counting one, two, three. <laughs> 
does, the storm the referee game just hoops <laughs> passing out over here. <laughs> and now Rhythm with a backbreaker. With a springboard moonsault onto Lita O'Brien. As she is known as the insane clown of crime. What is that? It's Exploder to the corner. The ref is firing. <laughs> Don't worry, we got, we still got his brother, Referee Gaines, his cousin, Referee Gaines, his brother, cousin, twin brother, Referee Gaines. <laughs> oh, not looking good. Oh, what the alley-you tossing nowhere? What is going on? Not again. <laughs> Jesus, Mary Quagmas, why are you doing this? Triple power bomb. Putting the hood on rhythm. Finally, referee James bans Sammy Kang. Oh, and that was referee James. <laughs> Another ref bites the dust. Oh my goodness, so much chaos. But finally, Referee James bans Amy Kang to the out, ban from ringside. What just happened there? <laughs> Rhythm. In a submission hole. <laughs> Hanging on there, Lita O'Brien. Finally breaks a hole. No more triple power bomb for you. But finally makes a tag to Cassidy James. Hits it with a suplex. Careful now. Now Lita O'Brien bringing Cassidy James. Maybe not. Spoke too soon. Trying to break away. No. Oh, back elbow. And straight to the corner once again makes a tag to Layla. What they're gonna go for? Irish whip, clothesline. Hard clothesline to the corner by Layla. And again with using the leverage. And oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> what is wrong with referee James today? <laughs> Why is Benny being up already? <laughs> oh boy. Don't worry, he signed a waiver, he has insurance. If he gets hurt, his family will come replace him. <laughs> Ruffy James enjoying himself tonight, yes, pretty much. <laughs> uh oh, and there's that, oh, I, oh gosh. I hope Layla's got some rabbit shot because that was really intense bite. What the quack? Layla just pushed the quack out of rhythm. Hits it with the air raid crash. One, two, and three. Oh my goodness, the clowns has defeated Cassidy James and rhythm. My goodness. You know, if only Tetris Girl would have been here, this would have never happened. I agree with Source, rigged indeed. And Ruffer Jane, why are you in the camera? <laughs> My goodness. Here are your winners, Lita O'Brien and Layla Lucura. And of course, it has to be the clowns who defeated Cassidy James and Rhythm. That is such a scary makeup. <laughs>
but dang. <laughs> oh my goodness. But what? <laughs> we have some good matches. We have some short matches. But now this is the <laughs> come to an end. That's no way to treat a former champion. I know. That's no way to treat the former champion. I mean, it's a surprise that not only that, we had the return of Kim Possible. Who indeed. But yes, yeah, this is the end of the show here now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, all this time I forgot to put the music on. <laughs> it was a good stream, yes indeed. And there I go, floating away. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for all the quacks and the hydrate. <laughs> and Sean, thank you for the raid. Swords the Goblin, thank you for the 100 biddies. And of course, Rosa, Madi, wait, Rosa, G Man, Madi, Stone for the host. There I go again, it's floating away. <laughs> Thank you for watching, stopping by. I'm your commentator, Duck Nivison Roman. Have a quacktastic night. It's. We all had good laughs. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Good, yes, good night and be safe. Let's see now. Let's see. I decide. Looks like we gotta raid somebody. Looks like Van Perico, who was just here earlier as well. And his his birthday is two. Let's go stream Mr. Van Perico. <clears throat> He's streaming W2K19 as well. Running NNW. His dirty birthday. Alright, see you guys there. Bye. -bye.